statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Welcome back to Arkansas Today. This is an absolutely fascinating subject we're talking about with our friend Roy Dudley from Roy Dudley Estate Sales. This is a personal collection of something you have been very interested in collecting over the years. Yeah. Um, some dating back to the 15 or 1800s. 1850s, I'm sorry, 1850s. Yeah, 1850s. We're talking dog collars here. Dog this collars. is not your typical dog collar. No, and you know, and it's interesting. So the love and the affection that we show and pamper our pets with today is not anything new. Mm -hmm. uh, in 19th century America and Europe, and into the 20th century, we st people still loved and pampered their pets. And we have dog collars. And these are multi-purpose. These are dog collars, you know, for ornamentation and show your dog uh, how much you love it. And a status symbol of society that you, you could afford to have a large pet and, and, and give it a nice gift. But also the fact that they were dogs were used as um, animals that would, would serve hunting purposes and other purposes. And these dogs, actually, if they got lost, could return them to the owner. I love this collection because you have some pictures that match yeah. that, that show. Yeah, I brought pictures um, of people, and these are studio pictures. These aren't just right. random snaps. These are actually pictures of people where they took their dog to the photography studio, and incidentally, all these photographs here, these dogs are wearing collars, wow. including this one, a little one over here by Mallory is wearing a little muzzle, and he's oh. really super cute. Oh, my goodness. Um, you have one, I believe it's up here, this one where the dog is actually kind of dressed up fancy, like yeah. the guy in his Yeah, well, it's the man is all dapper in his black and white suit, and then we have a little dapper black and white dog with his collar, so they're definitely out for their, their snazzy little stroll. So dressing your dog up, getting your dog fancy, that's not new. That's no, been going not, back not a long time. Not new at all. Time. Not new at all. You know, it's just people love their pets, and, and mm -hmm. we sort of think that maybe it's from our society now, but not so. Everyone has always loved their pets. And these are for some pretty showy animals, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's not a small dog that would wear that. And there's a lot of workmanship that went into these mm -hmm. collars with the studs and so forth, and they were quite showy on their dogs. Yeah, these were some fancy dogs that were wearing these. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. The, I want some, I some bling. Um, one more picture before we go I want to show. This is a, a little girl it looks like, maybe two years old or so, yeah. with a dog. Um, gorgeous picture, very neat. I'm so impressed because back then yeah. you had to be still for a very long time for these pictures. The fact they got a little a baby and a, a, baby and and a, a dog, dog to stay yeah. still. Kudos. Big deal. Big Kudos. deal. I love knows that. This. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That is quite a feat. This is your personal collection. Yes. Thank you for sharing it with Thank us. You. We do want to talk about something completely yes. unrelated. You guys have a big totally sale Totally unrelated. This but I, today I wanted to show you know some examples of things you can find this state sale out of the ordinary. This weekend we're having a sale in our Tanglewood location and it's entirely lawn and garden. So we're going to celebrate spring and we've got lots of patio furniture, concrete, urns, just tons of things for your yards because we all want to be in the yard mm -hmm. right now. It's a pretty spring weather. So come up to Tanglewood. It's at 7509 Cantrell. We open Friday and Saturday. It's a two-day sale only and we've got the whole place filled with lawn and garden. It's going to be a lot of fun. You've been working for some time for this collection. Yeah, we've been, we've been saving lawn and garden since July, which is not something we can always do, but we've had enough space this year to do that. Great. Thank you so much. Thank Corey. you, we Appreciate you. We'll be right back.